In this LT Spice tutorial, we're going to look at measurements techniques that uh, will be illustrated using transient simulations, but it's also applicable to other types of simulations, such as AC simulation. So first, we will look at how to display differential voltages. And what's meant by that is uh, simply if you have like a uh, differential amplifier, you can display the output the waveform V out plus minus V out minus. So the difference between these two. Next, we'll look at how to probe current waveforms in transient simulations. And finally, third point is how to use the built-in cursor in LT Spice for more accurate measurements. All right, so the schematic that we'll use for this video is this model of a center tapped transformer. So here's the primary side fed by 120 volt RMS or 170 volt peak sine wave. And then it couples into the secondary winding that has a center tap in the middle. And the secondary are connected to these uh, two 470 ohm resistors. So let's run the simulation, the transient simulation, lasting for 100 milliseconds. So if I want to probe the voltage of just one side of the secondary, Vsec underscore P or underscore M, of course I can just click on it and the waveform will pop up. But what happens if I want to probe the difference between these two? So I want uh, P minus M. The way we want to, we can do this is by hovering the cursor over the first volt, first node, click on it, but do not relief, release the left mouse button. Then drag your mouse down, have it point to the second node. You can see that probe is now turned black and release the left mouse button now. You can see from the waveform here that it has plotted the difference, between the voltage difference across these two nodes. Suppose that now I want to um, measure this waveform, even though it's pretty easy to read off in this case, suppose I want to uh, measure it somehow. Well, let's maximize this waveform screen here. And the way we can do measurements is with cursors in LT Spice. What you want to do is uh, put your mouse cursor over the name of the waveform that you're plotting. Notice it turns to a little hand. You click on that. And now two things appears. This little window and these crosshairs. Go to the center of this crosshair. You'll see the number one appearing. Left click on it. As you drag the mouse, the cursor will move. And if I go to the peak here, you can read what the peak is off of this window here. It's about 40 volts. Now after this, let's go ahead and erase the cursor. One way we can do that is by just simply closing the window. The cursor disappears. Let's also uh, delete this from the uh, waveform window this particular sine wave here. The way to do this is to hover over the name of this waveform again at the top, right click on it such that this window pops up. Now you can see you can even change the color of the trace if you wish, but right now we just want to delete it, so hit delete. And let's run back up here to our schematic. Suppose I want to build a half wave rectifier and uh, do some additional simulations. So to do that, I want to um, place a symbol. So dialed, I hit Control R to rotate it. And I'll do 
insert it into the uh, top leg here. So I'm only building a halfway for rectifier, so this is all I need. Now normally I, you need to uh, right click on this and um, you either need to uh, give the dial the models specified on your own, but I'm just going to pick one of the built-in dials in LT Spice. And you can see LT Spice comes already uh, has a number of commercially available dials built in in this list here. I'm just going to pick the top one, the 1N914, click OK, does that, and run the simulation again. And now I want to probe the output of this half wave rectifier. So it's only this node here. Click on that. And as expected, only half of the input, um, again, you only see half of this input sine wave getting through to here. Now let's um, also probe the current of the diode. How can I probe currents in the transient simulation? Well, place your mouse over the dial, the symbol will change, and then hit left click. So now we've got both waveforms plotted, the uh, half, the full wave, half wave rectifier output, and the current to the dial. Now it's hard to tell which is which, so let's change the color of the current. I right click on it. Let's change it to um, purple, for example. Okay. Now, if I zoom in a bit, by left-clicking and dragging this box out, you can zoom in and see the, uh, the voltage waveform, the black one, which is red off this scale here. Or the current purple waveform right off at this scale here. See what the peak current is in this case. Now, finally, what I want to do is add a uh, capacitor to filter the half wave rectifier output. So let's, uh, I'm going to close down the waveform window here. And I will add capacitor. And by right clicking on it, I will assign this a value of 470 microfarads. Let's see what happens. Run simulation again. Okay, as, ex as expected, the capacitor is performing this uh, filtering action to smooth the rectifier output. I want to measure the peak-to-peak uh, -peak ripple. What is the size of this voltage ripple? And uh, now in this case, it is not at all easy to just read that off the screen. You probably want to zoom in a bit before even doing that. So again, in the waveform window, you can left click, drag your mouse to create this uh, box in which we'll zoom into, and then release the left mouse button. So we've zoomed in. Now we add a cursor as per the uh, method we did described earlier. Move that to the upper peak. But now, what we can do is create a second cursor by clicking on this again. You can see the second cursor appearing around here, and if you go to the crosshair, it'll say two. Drag that to the bottom peak. So now, in this little window, this pop-up window, you can read the value of the upper peak, the lower peak, but more importantly, what the ripple is. Now I've got it such that uh, 
it has given me a negative number, but I can just flip the cursors around and it'll be positive. It uh, doesn't matter too much as long as you're able to read this correctly. It is about 1.27 volts, is what the ripple here is.